Robert, this week, GDP for fourth quarter was revised down again. Given that, what are your expectations for first quarter? Yes, yeah, Susan, we got the third estimate of fourth quarter GDP. That's come down now to 2.2%. Um, and when we think about the first quarter, we're at about 1.5% or so. And so that altogether, if that happens, that would be three consecutive quarters of declining GDP growth from the 4.3% we got the mid-year last year. So we can say the U.S. economy is cooling, the global economy is cooling, and, uh, and we have elevated our, our uh, risk factors uh, looking forward, and I, I think that's appropriate. But uh, definitely, this is a different economy than what we had uh, late last summer when everything was looking really, really good. We also learned that corporate profits were down as well. Can you expand on that? Yes, and that relates to the GDP story. That's part of that account. And corporate profits uh, came down slightly at the end of last year after a very good year. Uh, but I am concerned about the direction here because as labor costs go up and capital costs go up in a, a flat pricing environment, that implies a squeeze on corporate profits going forward. So this is something we're going to watch out for and a potential tripwire for the U.S. economy if, if we do see corporate profits continue uh, to come under pressure this year. Robert, let's talk about the housing market. How are falling mortgage rates affecting home sales? Well, that's the good news part of the story uh, because we have seen uh, uh, new home sales come up a little bit. Uh, home construction has been soft. I expect that to come up a little bit as well. Home prices, same story. They've been soft. I expect them to firm a little bit. But uh, I'm not sure that this is going to be a fundamental reset for the housing market simply because I, a lot of demand has been spent out already in this, in this cycle. And so even though mortgage rates are coming down, consumer confidence is also softening a little bit. And, and so I think we'll see a temporary lift on housing over the next couple of months, but maybe not enough to really firmly and completely change the trajectory of this market. 